Welcome to our channel. Today we're diving deep into an important health topic, deep venous thrombosis, commonly known as DVT. This condition affects thousands of people every year and can lead to serious, life-threatening complications if not properly managed. In this comprehensive video, we'll cover everything you need to know about DVT, including its causes, risk factors, signs and symptoms, treatments, prevention strategies, and much more. Let's get started. Introduction to Deep Venous Thrombosis Deep venous thrombosis, DVT, is a condition where a blood clot forms in a deep vein, typically in the legs. These veins are responsible for returning blood from the lower body back to the heart. When a clot forms, it can partially or completely block blood flow, causing pain and swelling. This can be life-threatening and requires immediate medical attention. What happens in DVT? In DVT, the blood clot blocks the normal flow of blood through the vein. This blockage can lead to increased pressure in the affected vein, resulting in pain and swelling. If part of the clot breaks free, it can travel through the bloodstream to the lungs, causing a pulmonary embolism. This is a medical emergency that can lead to severe complications or even death. Causes of Deep Venous Thrombosis Now let's talk about what causes DVT. Understanding the causes can help us take steps to prevent it. Prolonged Inactivity One of the leading causes of DVT is prolonged periods of inactivity. This can occur during long flights, car rides, or extended bed rest. When you remain still for long periods, blood flow in the leg slows down, increasing the risk of clot formation. Injury or surgery. Injuries or surgical procedures, especially those involving the lower body, can damage veins and lead to DVT. After surgery, the risk is higher due to the combination of immobility and potential vein damage. Medical conditions. Certain medical conditions can also increase the risk of DVT. These include heart failure, inflammatory bowel disease, and some cancers. Conditions that affect blood flow or increase blood clotting tendencies are particularly relevant. Risk factors for DVT. Now that we've covered the causes, let's look at the risk factors that can increase the likelihood of developing DVT. Age age is a significant risk factor. People over 60 are at higher risk of developing DVT although it can occur at any age. Family history. A family history of DVT or inherited blood clotting disorders, such as factor V Leiden mutation, significantly increases the risk. Genetic predispositions can play a large role in the likelihood of developing clots. Lifestyle factors. Lifestyle factors such as obesity, smoking, and a sedentary lifestyle also contribute to the development of DVT. Maintaining a healthy weight Quitting smoking and staying active are important preventive measures. Medications Certain medications like birth control pills or hormone replacement therapy can increase the risk of clot formation. Always discuss potential side effects and risks with your healthcare provider when starting new medications. Signs and Symptoms of DVT Recognizing the signs and symptoms of DVT is crucial for early treatment and preventing complications. Swelling Swelling in one leg particularly in the calf or thigh, is a common symptom. The swelling may develop suddenly and can be quite noticeable. Pain or tenderness. Pain or tenderness, often starting in the calf, is another common symptom. The pain may feel like cramping or soreness and can worsen when walking or standing. Skin changes. Changes in skin color or texture can also indicate DVT. The skin over the affected area may become red or discolored and the veins near the surface may appear more prominent, swollen or hard. Warmth The affected area might also feel warmer than the surrounding skin. This warmth is due to increased blood flow to the area as the body tries to dissolve the clot. Complications of DVT If not treated promptly, DVT can lead to severe complications, the most serious being a pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary embolism a pulmonary embolism occurs when a part of the blood clot breaks off and travels to the lungs, blocking a blood vessel. Symptoms include sudden shortness of breath, chest pain, and coughing up blood. This is a medical emergency and requires immediate attention, post-thrombotic syndrome. Another complication is post-thrombotic syndrome, which can develop after a DVT. It causes long-term pain, swelling, and other symptoms in the affected leg due to damage to the veins. Diagnosing DVT Early diagnosis is key to preventing complications from DVT. Let's explore the diagnostic process. Physical examination. A healthcare provider will start with a physical examination, looking for signs like swelling, tenderness, and changes in skin color. 
Ultrasound An ultrasound is the most common test used to diagnose DVT. It uses sound waves to create images of blood flow in the veins, helping to identify clots. D-dimer test A D-dimer test measures the presence of a substance that's released when a blood clot breaks up. High levels of D-dimer can indicate the presence of an abnormal blood clot. Venography In some cases, a venography may be performed. This involves injecting a contrast dye into a large vein in the foot or ankle and taking x-rays to see the flow of blood through the veins. Treatment options for DVT. Once diagnosed, DVT can be treated with a variety of methods. The primary goals of treatment are to prevent the clot from growing, reduce the risk of a pulmonary embolism, and prevent future clots. Medications. Medications are the cornerstone of DVT treatment. Let's take a closer look at the different types used. Blood thinners. Anticoagulants or blood thinners are commonly prescribed to prevent new clots from forming and existing clots from growing. Thrombolytics. Thrombolytics, also known as clot busters, are used in more severe cases. They work by dissolving the clot, but they carry a higher risk of causing bleeding. Thrombolytics are usually reserved for life-threatening situations or when other treatments have failed. Surgical interventions include inferior vena cava, IVC, filter and catheter-directed thrombolysis, home remedies and lifestyle changes. In addition to medical treatments, certain home remedies and lifestyle changes can help manage and prevent DVT. Regular exercise. Staying active is crucial for maintaining healthy blood flow. Walking, swimming, and cycling are excellent options. Regular exercise helps prevent blood from pooling in the legs, reducing the risk of clot formation. Elevating legs. Elevating your legs when sitting or lying down can help reduce swelling and improve circulation. Aim to keep your legs elevated above the level of your heart for optimal results. Compression stockings. Wearing compression stockings can also help. These stockings apply pressure to the legs, improving blood flow and reducing swelling. When to see a doctor. Knowing when to seek medical advice is crucial for early detection and treatment of DVT. Recognize symptoms. If you experience symptoms such as unexplained leg pain, swelling, redness, or warmth, it's important to consult a healthcare professional immediately. Early intervention can prevent complications. Regular checkups. If you have risk factors for DVT, regular checkups with your doctor are essential. This includes people with a family history of blood clots, those who have had DVT before, or individuals with chronic medical conditions that increase the risk of clots. Conclusion Understanding deep venous thrombosis is the first step toward managing and preventing it effectively. By recognizing the causes, risk factors, and symptoms, you can take proactive steps to protect yourself and your loved ones. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more health tips and information. And if you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, leave a comment below. Stay healthy and take care.